It's Wednesday the 5th of May. Uh, it's a government Wednesday, which means that after the general debate, we will go on to government business. Uh, we'll start the day with questions for oral answer, both Judith Collins and David Seymour. Questions one and three asking the Prime Minister, does she stand by all her government's statements and actions? Uh, Barbara Edmonds to the Minister of Finance. Question two, what recent reports uh, has he seen on the New Zealand economy? Question three, Dr. Anai Nehru Leavasa to the Minister of Housing on accelerating the build of public housing. Andrew Bailey to the Deputy Prime Minister. Very unusual to have one of the Deputy. Which critical initiatives will be monitored by his implementation uh, unit? Ginny Anderson to the Minister of Public Service. Uh, what pay and employment expectations uh, has the government set for the public sector? Todd McClay to the Minister for Maori Development about the influence of the Hei Pūpua uh, report uh, on the contents of uh, the United Nations Declaration of the Rights for Indigenous Peoples. Next steps for a declaration plan um, have on uh, a cabinet paper and draft talk talking points that he received last month. Um, Ricardo Menendez March to the Associate Minister of Housing about the rental market. Glenn Bennett to the Minister of Social Development and Employment about numbers of people entering employment, education and training. Uh, Louise Upston to the Minister for Social Development about uh, the public reporting of the number of jobs created from employment initiatives. Tracy McClellan to the Minister of Health uh, about the response to the Health and Disability System Review, and Rauri Waititi to the Minister of Maori Development uh, about institutional racism in government departments. After that, there will be uh, a special uh, debate uh, on a motion from Brooke Van Belden about um, human rights abuses uh, in China. Uh, the general debate follows that, and then we get on to government business. The Immigration uh, COVID-19 uh, Amendment Bill Committee stages in the name of Chris Farfoy. The Counter-Terrorism Legislation Bill, first reading again in the name of Chris Farfoy. Uh, the second reading of the Holidays Increasing Sick Leave Amendment Bill in the name of the Honourable Michael Wood and the continuation of the third reading of the Financial Market Infrastructures Bill, which is in the name of Grant Robertson. So the House will run from 2 till 6, it will run from 7 till 10, and I'll be back here just before 2 tomorrow.